Dynamic linking is a really powerful function that you can use between After Effects and Premiere. But what are your options for using it and when should you use it? Now I'm starting off in Premiere Pro here and I've already put together this short little drone edit. Now dynamic linking is a really powerful function that actually allows us to work in real time in both programs. So if we wanted to add some effects, say from After Effects into our Premiere Pro composition, we can do that. And we can also add our video edit from Premiere and work with it inside of After Effects. Now there's a lot of information out there, so I thought in this video what we'd actually do is I break down the three main ways you can go about using dynamic linking and actually break down when you should use them and actually why you should use them. Now I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one, so if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now for your first option, I'm working inside of Premiere Pro and what I want to do is drag my already finished After Effects composition into Premiere Pro. So all we need to do to make this work is just simply right click in the project window, go to import, and then all you need to do is just navigate to your After Effects file and I can double click it. Now as soon as we click that, it's gonna pop up with this little dialog box. And all this box is asking us is which composition out of that After Effects project do we want to import? Now you can go ahead and import all of them or you can just import the composition that you're working on. In this case, I've created a title in After Effects and all I want to do is just import that title into Premiere. So I'm just going to select that composition that I was working on and hit OK. Then you'll actually notice down here in the project window that that composition has now appeared. And I can simply just come up here and drag it straight on the top of my composition. Now the great way about doing it this way is that with that composition now in Premiere, all I need to do is simply right click on it and just come up and edit original. Then it's going to simply open up that After Effects composition and I can work on that composition in real time. So any changes I now make to this composition will automatically update that composition. So this is really handy for when you're adding titles or anything that you can overlay over the top of your footage. So that's the first way that we can use the dynamic link. Now the only downside there is that if we make changes to the clips in Premiere, that will not translate over to After Effects. So in the second option, what I actually want to do is I want to take this particular clip here on my timeline and I want to be able to edit that clip in After Effects. So all I need to do is take that clip, right click, just come up to replace with After Effects composition. Then you can see that's automatically imported that and created a new composition in After Effects. And if I double click that composition, it now opens up that clip in its own composition. Now the big advantage of doing it this way is that if I apply an effect to that clip in After Effects, that will automatically update in Premiere. So if I take this clip, I come up to effect down to color correction and just add the tint effect. Then if I actually save that and come back to Premiere, you can see that that will automatically update on the Premiere Pro timeline. Now the downside of using this option is that if I add an effect to that clip, it will not translate back to After Effects. So say I want to edit this clip with its own effects. So if I come up to color and just drag the saturation down, when I save this, that will not automatically translate back to After Effects. So this can be really useful when you want to apply a specific effect to a clip from Premiere inside of After Effects. Now this also works with multiple clips. So what I can do is if I select, say these last three clips here, I can just right click and also replace with an After Effects composition. And you can now see I have these three clips that are laid out in this single composition. Another really useful little tip when working in this dynamic link mode is that when I edit the first clip, so say I come over here and I just shorten this first clip so we now have a gap and save this, 
back in Premiere Pro, you will now see that there's a gap appeared in that footage. So in this mode, it's an exact mirror of what's happening inside of After Effects is being mirrored in Premiere Pro. So again, this is really useful when you have a clip and say you wanted to do some motion tracking on that specific clip or you wanted to add a direct effect to that specific shot, this is a really useful way of doing that. Now, another limitation you need to take into consideration here is that when working inside of Premiere, if I was to shorten this clip, so just cut it in like this and save this, when I come back to After Effects, that will not translate that edit over to After Effects. So you gotta keep that in mind when using this mode. Now for my third option, what I actually want to do is work inside of After Effects and I want it to mirror what is going on in Premiere. So any edits that I'm going to be making in Premiere, I want to translate across to After Effects. So what we would do is we would start inside of After Effects and I would simply just drag my Premiere Pro edit straight into After Effects. And then it's going to bring up this dialog box and if I choose my edit that I've been working on, I can just hit OK. I can then simply right click on that and create a new comp from selection. Now in that composition, you can see that we have our complete Premiere edit as one complete composition. Now I only recommend working in this mode if you have a finished edit that you're no longer going to work on inside of Premiere. Now if I came back to Premiere and I made a video edit and saved that and came back to After Effects, you'll notice that that edit will now translate across to After Effects. Now the big problem with this mode is that if you start moving clips around inside of Premiere, they will also move inside of After Effects. So if you have, say, effects or text lined up nicely with your composition, any changes you now make in Premiere will now move all of that out of sync. So you've got to think about that when working inside this mode. Now the reason you'd want to work in this dynamic link mode is that when working in Premiere, say you wanted to add a color effect, so I wanted to drag down the saturation. When I save this and go back to After Effects, that color will now translate across to After Effects. So any effects or color presets that you're going to apply in Premiere will now translate in real time across to After Effects. So there's the three different dynamic link options you can use when working in Premiere and After Effects. So I hope you've learned something about dynamic linking. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.